Hi everyone, my name is Chelsea. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to be sharing with you 10 items that I had or wish I would have had during my breast reduction. What I'm gonna look like and what my body's gonna look like and what my body's gonna have to go through. So like I said, today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 items that I had or wish I would have had during my breast reduction. I had a breast reduction in November of 2020 and I went from about a double G H to a D slash C cup. I'm about 10 weeks post up when you're watching this and I've tried to put together a list the entire time of things that were extremely helpful for me, things that I wish I would have bought prior to or things that just were nice to have. Some of these things are very inexpensive and some of them are a little on the expensive side just for one surgery, but they were very helpful to me and I can't wait to share it with you. All right, so the first thing that I wanna share with you is your pain medication. Obviously, if you're having a breast reduction, your doctor is going to write you some prescriptions. Um, that is really up to you if you want to take the pain medication or find alternate solutions for pain medicine pain management um, For me, I took the pain medicine that my doctor prescribed me as well as ibuprofen and Tylenol and I wouldn't have chosen to do it any other way um, But to each his own so that is my first recommendation. All right, so the second thing on my list is a caddy this one came from Target um, it has like three little compartments it's about this size like compared to a head this was wonderful we have like three remotes in our bedroom which is where I was most of the time and so I could keep them in here I could keep um, some anti-itch cream some um, antibiotic ointment in here. I could keep like pencil pen if I was making notes or like doing a Sudoku book or whatever. Um, I could keep them in here as well as my drink. So important after surgery to stay hydrated. All the time it's really good to stay hydrated but um, this was wonderful. I actually set my caddy up like a few days before I had surgery just to put some thought into what I wanted to keep in here, what I was gonna have room for. So like remotes all fit in one slot, drink fit in one slot. Um, at some point also would bring me like a cup of ice water and then like a bottle of water to like refill it or like um, a body armor or something which would could also go in here. And then just other little things that I wanted like my phone, uh, my earbuds, whatever. So this was great. I think when I bought this, it was, it was at the Target dollar spot. So it was either a dollar or three dollars. They come out with them pretty much every year. They have different colors. Um, and I saw some at the dollar store the other day. They were much smaller, like they looked like a kid size, but they could work if you don't have um, as many things to keep up with as apparently I was trying to. All right, so the next thing is something that I wish I would have had. You can get them at the dollar store. You can find them cheap at the thrift store. And it is a back scratcher. At the point when I was able to get out to try to find one, I really didn't need it anymore. I was flexible enough, but oh my gosh, like to lift your arms up after surgery or try to like reach behind you and get to like just that right spot was really difficult. It would have been really nice to just have a back scratcher just be scratching the, all of that by myself and not having to ask Austin to come and help me. Um, it just, it would have been really nice. All right, so the next thing on my list is, is larger. <laughs> it's um, a TV tray. So this is the one I got if you're, um, if you've been following me for the past six months or something like that, I got this in a thrift store haul. And it was like $4, I wanna say. So it comes, it has like a fold out like this. And then this actually pops up, which was, <laughs> which was nice. So it has like this little, where it could go up and down. And that was nice because um, 
I was working on videos on here. I was working on other work stuff. It was nice to just hold, like, have it. Also, when bringing my food and it would just sit on it. This was a wonderful, wonderful purchase. I can't say enough that I, this was probably, probably, at least my top two things of recommendations for having this surgery. All right, so the next thing on the list is just something cute, whether it's something um, that you hope to fit in afterwards, like something like this, like this tank top I got on Amazon. Um, I can link it below. I think it was like less than $15, just something to either look forward to wearing or also I showed in my like pre-op haul. I got these cute little jammies from Amazon and while it seems a little frivolous and maybe a little silly, there's a lot of like mood things, like up and down mood things, and it's just nice to either have something like this to look forward to wearing or have something cute to wear because you're you're down, you're not you're not active, you're not feeling like yourself and just to have something that gives you a little bit of joy, a little smile to your face was really nice. All right, the next thing on the list is my most expensive item. Um, we already had this because of back pain and stuff that I was having before the surgery. Uh, I talked about this before that we got a new bed and when we got the new bed, we got an adjustable um, bed frame. So like this one, the, the feet can go up and down, the head can go up and down, it can lay flat. I've seen a lot of people suggest to get a maternity pillow, um, for the surgery. That would probably be an excellent alternative to this, to the bed, but I cannot say enough of how happy I was to have the adjustable bed frame during the surgery. It made it where I could sit up to like just the right height. I mean, cause throughout it kind of fluctuated like how far I wanted to be sitting up. Sometimes it was straight if I was eating, maybe a little, I think when I first came home from surgery, I didn't really want to go that far back. It was about like here, here, I would say. And so throughout, I was able to just like inch back down. It was so nice. There was probably not one day that went by that I wasn't thankful to have the adjustable bed frame for after the surgery. All right, the seventh thing on my list is ice packs. I bought these before surgery and I was so glad that I did. We didn't really have like this size um, ice packs in our freezer beforehand. They were so good for when I was having back pain from sitting up in the bed all the time. Just able to put them behind my back, rest there. It helped so, so much. These were wonderful. I got them on Amazon. They came in a pack of three and they were very cheap. Like I wanna say less than $10. This was great. All right, number eight is freezer meals. Hopefully sometime soon I will be putting out a video of all the freezer meals that I did prior to surgery. This was so helpful. I wanna say I probably spent like $300, but I did one month's worth of freezer meals slash crock pot meals for after surgery because I knew having four kids, how is my husband gonna come home every night and cook and feed them? And it made me feel good knowing that that was something I could take care of before surgery to help prepare my family for after surgery. That I, I don't regret doing that at all. It was a lot of work that I did in just a couple of days, but it was so, so worth it. Not to mention, um, I w was trying to eat very healthy. I didn't want to um, gain any weight or like do anything that would set me back in any way. And so making those meals and knowing what was in them, it, it was very helpful, very helpful for everyone. Every single time that we made a dinner meal, a dinner meal, every time we cooked dinner, either Austin or I would be like, I'm so glad, I'm so glad we had this meal. I'm so glad that we, did this before. I'm so glad that you put in the effort to do this. Like Austin was constantly thanking me for doing that. It was, it was a really big blessing and a help to be able to do that beforehand. All right, number nine on the list is something that you've seen before in one of my hauls. Mine is getting so worn out just from the, um, 
the swelling and stuff after surgery, but it is a zip up bra. I got these on Amazon. It came in a pack of three and I want to say that they were like $15. So not super expensive, but well worth it to just be able to like undo them like that. And they were very soft. Like it was just so soft. It, it never once irritated my incisions or anything like that. This was a great purchase. Great purchase. All right, and number 10, this is the last thing on our list, is actually a lacrosse ball. I also bought these on Amazon. They came in a pack of two. They were left less than $15 for sure. I'll make sure to leave everything in the description box below of where I got them, um, links if I can, and how much they cost. The lacrosse ball I already had from physical therapy, but my goodness, this was so helpful. So after surgery, you're having a lot of swelling. Um, I'm not talking about your breasts, okay? When I'm talking about using this, I'm talking about like here, just massaging your like pectoral chest muscles up there was so nice because without being to like lay, lay back, hold your arms back, stuff like that. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, um, I had pain in my elbows and like numbness after surgery. And so I wasn't really able to do as much stretching and everything's kind of tight. Like your incisions cause your skin to feel a little bit tighter. They're swollen and so you can't stretch as well. So my chest was becoming very, very tight and it was putting a lot of pressure on my back. And just being able to like sit inactively and just rub my muscles right here because they just got they got the biggest knots in them so not coming anywhere close to your breast area just up here oh my gosh it's so nice and then you can do it on your back too if your back is aching after surgery or like closer to your to your trunk area this was great this was so great i feel like i said that about everything i really think i've all of these things that I've been putting on this list really made a difference for me. They are not, there isn't one thing on this list that I would skip out on buying or keeping around. You can also see if you can borrow them from someone. So that is it for my 10 things you can buy to help after breast reduction surgery. I sure hope that this helps. Um, I hope that this video is helpful for you. If it is, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos on my breast reduction journey, surgery journey. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye.